Hello, and welcome back to my kitchen. We're about to make some salmon patties. Now in this bowl, I have one large can of salmon, and I unrolled it and took the bones out. And I, that large can, let me see here, 14.75 ounces, and this is 7.5 ounces. And I'm using those because that's what the recipe called for. And I already deboned it and smashed it up. I added about a half a cup of onions in here and only because I like onions. The recipe didn't call for it. Alright, so I'm getting that stirred up in there. one of the things that goes in. And that would be two beaten eggs. Excuse my dog. He, I don't know, whenever I start talking to myself, he starts barking. He thinks I'm talking to myself. One of these days I'll show you a picture of him. He's a cute little thing. Um, let's see here. I'm sorry about that. Got two eggs going here. A lot of people people can crack these with one hand. I can't do it. I have tried and tried. Can't do it. All right, there's my two eggs. I'm going to beat them up. Might as well use this fork because they're going in there. Sorry about all the noise. I got a pan heating over here with about three tablespoons, maybe a little more, of vegetable oil in it. All right, let's pour those eggs in there. Okay, I'm going to mix that up before I get too much stuff in here. Next thing going in is two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and I'm going to eyeball it because I don't think it's going to matter that much if it's, you know, right on. That might be a little over, but it's not going to hurt it if it is. One and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Well, first I'm going to put in one teaspoon of dry mustard. Now, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire. One and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. Calls for fresh lemon juice, but I don't really think it matters if it's fresh or concentrated. Well, there's one teaspoon. And minus the pits. Here's the half. Just squeeze a little extra in there. All right, and I saw a pit go in. I put the dry mustard in. Now it's a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And the last thing going, I'm going to mix this up real quick 
because I want to be sure that it's mixed well. The last thing that's going in is um, when you buy saltine crackers and they come in the little four packets. It's a pound package of saltines, but each little packet is four ounces. You put one of those in there with um, whoops, just crush them up. I crushed them up right in the pack. You can too. Kind of squash them from the top and bottom and get them started. And then um, then just mash it with your fingers and it and they crush right up. And if they're not, you know, minced fines, so what? It's okay. Here we go. Getting this all mixed up in here. And all right. That looks pretty good to me. Now my hands are clean, and you know to always work with clean hands. I'm going to take this mixed up stuff here, and I'm going to make some patties. And then we're going to fry them. Boy, this thing's getting hot here. All right. I don't really know how big to make these, but... We're going to make some nice sized patties. Didn't call for salt or pepper, so I didn't put any in. One. This should make about six good sized patties, but um, it turns out to be more or less. I mean, just make them to your size, to your preference. This pan's only going to hold about four, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> now, ooh, I'm going to cut this off a minute. And um, when they get done, I'll bring you back. Hi, we're back. My salmon patties are done. They're golden brown on both sides, cooked to perfection, very hot. I'm going to put one on my plate. And here is the dill sauce that I made earlier. It's been in the refrigerator since I made it. I'm going to take a little dab of it and just put it on my salmon patty. And that's just the icing on the cake right there. Let's see if I can get you in. And let's just take a little bite. Oh my goodness. They stayed together real well. I guess that's what the two beaten eggs are for. Let me blow this off a little bit. Mmm. Oh my goodness. You would not believe how good these are. They're wonderful. You are going to love this recipe. 
So give it a try. Leave me a comment on how well you liked it or didn't like it. If you need to ask a question, leave it in the comments. Um, like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I thank you for coming back into my kitchen and spending a little more time with me. So until next time, you take care.